Hi, my name is Pauline and this is Erin. We're both nurses and so we know firsthand how demanding, both physically and emotionally, this job can be. Being a critical care nurse means working in stressful environments all the time. Patients are critical, mortality rates are high, and ethical dilemmas are faced every day. Like in any other unit, the ICU nurse is caring not only for the patient, but also for the family. And with increasing technology taking over the hospitals, families have higher expectations for positive patient outcome, which only adds to the stress of the critical care nurse. Critical care nurses are required to perform highly technical work with compassion while working long and erratic hours. Due to the nursing shortage, this is leaving those working in the field feeling overextended. There is something plaguing the nursing field today, especially critical care nurses, and it's called post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder, also known as PTSD, is a condition that generates waves of anxiety, depression, aggression, and fear um, that threatens a person's sense of self and interferes with their ability to perform daily tasks. Post-traumatic stress disorder affects your autonomic nervous system, specifically your sympathetic system, which we all know controls your fight or flight response. Your SNS activity is increased by PTSD, meaning the increased release of catecholamines such as epinephrine and norepinephrine in your body, causing the affected individual to lose the ability control their, to control their response to stimuli. In simple terms, the individual's instincts take over and they are unable to choose their reactions. It is the repetitive exposure of stressors in the critical care environment that's leaving those nurses at risk for developing PTSD as well as other disorders such as anxiety and depression. Not everyone that experiences a traumatic event will develop post-traumatic stress disorder, nor will every nurse working in the ICU. However, since the incidence is on the rise, we feel awareness about this condition is important. Signs and symptoms of this condition vary, as each individual responds to traumatic events differently. Here are some common signs and symptoms seen in those suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. For PTSD to be diagnosed, an individual must be suffering from the symptoms for at least one month and they must be affecting their ability to function. Appearance of the condition can happen anywhere from hours to years after the event has occurred. And with nursing, it might not be one specific event, but a number of events. Specific examples of work-related stressors in critical care nursing include So why are we telling you all of this? We're not trying to scare anyone, and we really aren't saying that everyone that's working in the ICU will develop post-traumatic stress disorder. However, a recent study showed that 25% of nurses currently working in the critical care area in the United States are suffering from signs and symptoms positive for post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD, along with other psychological conditions such as anxiety, depression, and burnout, are leading to decreased patient care, decreased emotional support for families, and decreased communication, which is all important in nursing. So what can be done? Creating a healthy work environment is the first step in addressing the issue of post-traumatic stress disorder. Allowing nurses the opportunity to discuss their experiences in the ICU regarding caring for dying patients or traumatic events will help to battle this disorder. As a family member or friend who is supporting someone who is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, it's important to have patience and understanding. Building a trusting relationship is vital. Thank you for joining us today. We hope we didn't scare you, but instead provided you with some useful information about post-traumatic stress disorder. If any of you currently watching are feeling that you are suffering from this disorder or want to know more information, we encourage you to seek help so you can live life to the fullest. Remember, if you're not properly taking care of yourself, you can't take care of others.